Hello everybody, Chris here, and today I have a new tutorial for you guys, or more like some information I'd like to share. Um, recently, I've had some interest in doing 3D modeling, so I've been looking around for a bunch of different sites, which you're actually able to go ahead and upload your models that you've created in a program such as Blender or 3ds Max onto the web, and then you have those models in a marketplace such as Turbo Squid, and you're able to collect royalties as the models sell on those sites. Now, uh, with 3D modeling and other, uh, I, I guess, design or development avenues uh, like web design, etc., uh, there's also like uh, these kinds of sites for WordPress themes. Um, I'm sure they even have ones for music and all other kinds of digitally created content. So Turbo Squid is one of those ones that are out there for 3D models, and I have four that we're going to take a brief look at today, um, just to point out some of the options that are out there in case this is something you're also interested in. If you want to uh, go on, basically, the web, make models, and upload them, and collect money from the sales that you make from them. So Turbo Squid is pretty commonly known as one of the big sites for different uh, modeling products. Um, of course, you can upload just about anything you want as long as you have the rights to those images, such as animals, um, uh, technology stuff. I'm, I'm not actually sure. Like this guy who has the Apple iPad Air, I'm not really sure he's within copyright law there, but I'm not a lawyer, so, I mean, don't ask me. Um, but although Turbo Squid is known as one of the biggest sites out there and is also very, very popular, uh, has a lot of traffic that goes through it. One of the downsides of Turbo Squid is that unless you sign up for their, I believe they call it the Squid Guild, uh, which is basically, as I understand it, and I could be wrong, where you basically sign to give exclusivity rights over to Turbo Squid, and in exchange for that, you can climb up their Squid Guild and earn higher royalty rates. But that does mean you have to basically use Turbo Squid as your one and only site for uh, selling your models. Now, uh, you got to ask yourself, is that worth it? Because uh, one way to get more sales, of course, with anything, is going to be ex to expand your presence. If you put your models to other sites like 3D Export or the 3D Studio or the CGTrader.com, uh, you can basically get your products out there in front of more eyes. And while each of those individual sites may not have as many uh, viewers for the site, as say Turbo Squid does, um, you add all of them together and it might actually add up to something significant. So with Turbo Squid, the base royalty rate is 40%, which means the site, Turbo Squid, uh, the company who runs it, they're going to take 60% of whatever you make. And that's pretty steep, I gotta say. Um, if you make things like Android apps, usually it's like a 70% royalty rate, which you get to keep. Um, and with these other sites, it's about the 60 to 70% range as well. So Turbo Squid's one site. What you can do is just upload your models to Turbo Squid, and then from there, take the 40% of whatever sales you get there, and also have it on other sites. And if you're going to promote a site, you probably want to promote or promote your models on a site. Rather, you probably want to promote the uh, site that's going to get you the biggest cut. Since if you're driving the traffic anyway. Uh, who really cares what site it's actually on. So uh, next we have 3D Export, which is actually one of the ones I like quite a bit. I like their um, upload interface. And uh, 3D Export, they of course also have ones for Photoshop graphics and WordPress themes here. So they've kind of got a... Um, would con conglomerate be the right word going on? Maybe, maybe not. Eh, you tell me. But anyway, 3D Export. Not only do they have a pretty nice looking site, but uh, they also get you a 60% base royalty. Um, I, I would assume it's possible to actually get it higher than that. But like each modeling site is going to look a little bit different. Some of the interfaces might be better. Um, but all in all, it's more or less the same. So you can kind of figure it out if you want to actually sign up for one site specifically and get a higher royalty because you did exclusivity or if you want to spread your models between different sites all right looks like they're updating the server well cool fair enough there so uh, this one i uh bumped into today the 3d studio it's got a pretty decent looking site as well 
and if I recall their upload interface is actually very very simple to use um, however <laughs> it's actually a little bit tricky to find out information about their royalty rate you go to the about page you don't really see it anywhere and uh, I even control F for find in the terms of service but I was able to find a brief article on the CG channel dot com that points out uh, that apparently it, the uh, company slash website was recently bought out and it had a 60% royalty rate so I believe that's what you got going on there so 60% seems pretty standard and that's with these sites without even having the exclusivity agreement so Turbo Squid's really giving you a hard bargain to use their high uh, traffic website in my opinion and then we have this last one um, which I believe is also 60% base it could have actually been 70. It's one of those two. Uh, I don't really know too much about this site yet. Um, it's the one I bumped into most recently today, but I do have to say they do have quite a slick interface overall, so I don't think they could be all that bad. Uh, this page is a little bit iffy. Um, but yeah, you can look around. You can find more of these sites. They're really quite common at this point. And uh, just find the ones you actually want to use. Maybe you don't want to upload to every single site because uh, it does take time to actually upload your images, uh, register for an account, and do like the tagging descriptions, all the, all the other kinds of things you'd have to do if you were making a YouTube video as well. But uh, hopefully that gives you a good idea of some options that are out there if you're looking to get into 3D modeling. Uh, as far as tutorials go, I would say probably check out some other channels. Uh, even if I practice for a bit, it's going to be quite a while until I actually uh, get to that point where eh, you can learn from me. But um, yeah, there's tons of tutorials out there on YouTube. So if this is something that interests you, I'd say just go ahead and give it a try. And uh, programs like Blender are completely free uh, for 3D modeling. You don't necessarily need to pay hundreds of dollars for a program like 3ds Max or Maya. Anyway, uh, I've been Chris. Best of luck if this is your thing and you're going to go give it a try, or maybe you're already doing it. Um, thank you for watching, and if you want to donate to the channel, support these tutorials, you can do so at patreon.com slash christutorials. Aside from that, thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.